All right. All right, y'all. Let's get it cracking. Calling on my ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and our angels of my highest good and highest life. Please provide me the most clearest, most accurate, most concise messages for my collective on this beautiful Saturday evening. Hello. Let's see, what are the messages for them today? for them today. Business owner. Three to five months. Money hungry. Okay, so some of you guys can be uh, um, just starting to be an entrepreneur or something like that. You be in the beginning stages of starting your business or you're in this energy of planning to start a business or you have been planning a business, setting it up and stuff like that. Um, it's been in the works for a while. But like somebody's in this energy where they're um, they're out to get it, okay? You get into the back. Hey, we get an A-Rab money. We get an A-Rab money. <laughs> Are we doing this or and grower, not a shower? Okay, and that's coming up under business owner. It also gives me the energy of you guys have been building a business behind the scenes. Okay, um, if you've been um, not really seeing the fruits of your um, labor, you can see that in a couple of months. You'll be starting to see that soon or things are already picking up for you. Okay. People may not have seen this energy behind, uh, I mean, out in front, but you, this is what you've been doing behind the scenes. You haven't been really um, showing whatever it is that you've been um, doing, okay? You haven't been showing your hand or anything like that. I also feel like some of you guys can be messing around with a masculine who is a business owner or entrepreneur or something like that. This person is... They have a stick that grows, not shows. <laughs> Alright, what else? What's up, y'all? October. So, October is here. Under three to five months. Hmm. Okay. Maybe something's about to go down this month or something like that. October could be significant. Tell me more. I'm tired of these hoes. They don't amount to you. Okay, so somebody has been running to um, go digging ass hoes because it's coming up underneath it, uh, up underneath money hungry. Okay, so somebody has been barking up the tree for somebody's money. Okay, somebody has been dealing for with somebody for somebody's money or some shit like that. Or like I said, somebody's tired of these money hungry ass hoes. They not you. Somebody just realizing these bitches out here is money hungry. <laughs> and that's just what it is. I thought I was done with this love shit. Ooh. So you got somebody contemplating being in a relationship. Hmm. Can you make it through this rough patch? Okay, so maybe you guys have been going through, um, you know, a little bit, some drama or some shit, you know. Just a little bit of drama. So things may have been, you know, a little rocky between you two. Hmm. What else? Hey. Divine masculine. Maybe, maybe this person is about to pop up. If y'all have not been talking lately or things have been rough or it's just mm -mm, something significant about October for the Divine Masculine.
meeting online and meditate. Okay, somebody could have been meeting a lot of people online or the people that's um, approaching them online. They know that they don't want anything from this person. They know that they're just after this person and their money or some shit like that. Um, someone's definitely been in their head about the connection that they have with you, though. You got you really got somebody thinking like, damn, I really, I was done with these bitches. Ain't nobody, everybody out here money hungry as fuck. <laughs> these bitches is leeches. But I don't know, you got this person in their head. Maybe because you're, you could be that business owner, I'm saying, like, in your business. Yeah. Okay. Come on. So, y'all can have people in y'all business about uh, you and this person going through something or, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Things could have been shaky between you and this person from the last three to five months. I don't know. Control freak. Mm. Yeah, there's people in somebody's business trying to control something. Bugaboo. It's somebody who is trying to get in somebody's business, bug this person, the always on this person's tail. Again, it's a money hungry hoe. <laughs> uh, somebody even fucked around with some bitches that they can't get rid of. Drama is here too. In laws. Okay. Stepping up to the plate. Get up. So proud of you. New beginnings. You have wifey, hubby qualities. Okay, so it looks okay. It's it's going exactly where I thought of wifey, hubby qualities. Okay, so it looks okay. It's it's going exactly where I thought it was gonna go. Again, because I feel like these fucking readings be biggie. Pe- piggybacking off of the um, movies we're going to show. It's people in motherfucking's business trying to control how somebody goes after somebody, putting like little tidbits in somebody's ear and shit like that. Oh, this person is just money hungry. Oh, they're just trying to control you. Oh, it's just going to be da-da-da. Are you sure you can do this with this person? It, like, it's... It, I thought this was lust. Time is teaching me is love. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So someone could have told them to leave you alone or something like that. Or whatever the case. And during time apart, they just realized that they wanted to be with you even more. That they it wasn't a lustful situation. It was actually love. Okay, yeah, I swore I knew what real love was until you came along. Exactly, and new love is here. Period. Right. Hmm. So that makes somebody wants to step up and stop listening to everybody else. So this person could have lied to you about something. Um pertaining this connection or moving this connection to the next level with this are we doing this or what type energy all right what's the outcome what's the outcome i wish you could see how i'm protecting you you will not end up with this person can I hit it in the morning? Spell work backfired. <laughs> and remember, spell work does not have to necessarily be somebody actually doing work. It can be gossip and shit like that. And, you know, intentional gossip. Or, you know, speaking ill on the connection and stuff like that. So, if they thought that y'all wasn't going to end up together or something like that. Yeah, best friend. And it could be some best friends doing this as well. Or this person you feel like you're their best friend. Uh, either way, somebody feels like you deserve the word, the world, okay? Period. Um, I'm coming over. Let's cuddle and watch TV. I see y'all still um, 
doing what y'all want to do. <laughs> it is going to be a rough patch. It is going to be some bullshit if it has not already happened. But I see y'all doing what y'all want to do because somebody was trying to not allow this person to end up with you for whatever reason. Um, all right, a couple more cards. Yeah, I'm stuck in visions of us together. Somebody is focused on y'all being together and being um, without you or having this separation or whatever caused it, especially with these people in their ear. They are in turmoil over it. Somebody is sad as fuck and they want out of that shit. And I feel like that's what's going to lead to this person um, picking up this connection and actually uh, moving it forward. They just had to figure out where they're going to start. Last card. Yeah, will this ever change? I feel like it will. <sighs> Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. Mm -hmm. Do not put up with my BS. Yeah, people do not believe in me. Yeah, see, insecurities. I hope you can um I hope you could ever forgive the mess I've made. I wish I could be a different person. Yeah, so um this person doesn't like how they feel without you. So They ain't trying to, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. last card, Holy Spirit. Let's just get this person's near future action. This person's near future action. Next near future action. First collective. Thank you. I feel like you can see right through me, and you deserve more than I can give you. No more. Thank you. Oh, they gave me two. Your intelligence is so hard and hot and I'm very attracted to you. I hope you haven't moved on to I want to spend more time with you. Um, So, yeah, it's something about you seeing through this person and how they're acting and stuff like that. Like, you knowing exactly what's going on with this person. Um, and also knowing that they still want to be with you or still being a very attracted to you and shit like that. like this person's going to come in and make things right because they do want to be with you and it's going to take for them to stop listening to everybody else in order to make that happen so if y'all did have separation it could have happened for about three to five months three to six months okay but that's because other people was in this person's ear they didn't know what to do they didn't know how to come forward they know they had messed up all types of shit like this person was really going through the feels <laughs> But yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get this movie started. If that message resonated for you in any type of way and you are watching this from YouTube, you know to like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't, okay? Share this message with someone you feel may need to hear it. Continue to help your girl get to 5,000 subscribers because once I get there, I will be giving away two freebies. Yeah, and you know, if you want to book a reading with me, if you're watching from TikTok, you know to click the description in my, um, I mean, the website in my uh, bio. And if you're watching from YouTube, you know to click the link in the description box below. Until next time, my loves. Bye.